why you have such a beautiful uh, torch that you're carrying, you know, as the head of the school and everything. How and what do you do to ensure that unity is being kept and that staffing and that being, you know, implemented in each grade and each, you know, classroom? Yeah, that, that's a great question because uh, team unit, the enemy is so discord, right? Mm -hmm. One of the works of the flesh, right? It's division. There's just, there's just so much there. And that, that's, he's tried that already. And so what we do is we have weekly prayer meetings where the staff get together, lays hands, and prays for each other every week. I love it. Yeah, they're doing, yeah, they're doing a um, Bible study, a deep Bible study about spiritual warfare uh, throughout the summer. That they're covering because we have teachers that come from all different denominational right. backgrounds and all kinds of so you know trying to raise everyone's game as they walk into this and and just like we heard up here this is a new way for teachers to function you might have been a christian your whole life but you've never been a christian teacher right and so uh we're getting right now we're getting ready you can't you can't start the process until year, until year two but we are starting the process for accreditation and so part of that accreditation is um, team meetings and, and, and spiritual growth of the staff. Um, so the biggest things we should answer your question directly, prayer meetings every week, Bible studies with the teacher, Meredith, our director, has a page where she puts Bible verses and usually some type of video um, for the week that people can watch so that we're all taking in the same content, praying over the same things, reading the same verses, just so that unity as well. Mm -hmm. So, does that help? Yeah. yeah. We've actually had a number of the teachers come to do like freedom as well, just to continue to get deeper spiritual ministry when needed. Uh, and so that's been really exciting to see that come about. The last thing I want to say too, the kids facilitate a lot of this too. And so I'll give you an example. We have a specials class. So this is, this might seem like it's about the kids, but it's actually about your question. So we have a, a specials. We were gonna do, we were gonna do Spanish. We could not, for the life of us, find a Spanish teacher. And we interviewed a couple, it just, it just was not working. And so we kind of stepped back and we prayed about it. And I felt like this idea came to my head of, you know what? Why would I teach them another language? Uh, that's not important, but right now, why would I not be teaching them heaven's language? Why would I not be teaching them how the Lord speaks? And so we have this special class called Encounter Time. And it is 100% dedicated to helping the children encounter God in multiple ways. So and, uh, my twins have said it, a lot of other kids have said it's their favorite class. So we might do journaling. We're going to read scripture. We're going to do Christian meditation. We're going to see him in nature, right? All the different ways to encounter God and hear his voice is really, really an important part. So the reason why that goes back to what you said is that the teachers, all the kids meet up for specials and they come back. And so they're hearing these stories and that's, that's um, the teachers collaborate on that. The teachers hear this story. Did you hear your kid? And so that mixing of this spiritual growth across the, the grades helps a lot with just forming deeper bonds that can be tested and we can push each other. Because one of the things that we I've told teachers multiple times is, and I just told them this the other day, um, iron sharpens iron, correct? What happens when iron sharpens iron? Sparks fly. Sparks. <laughs> <laughs> So if there are sparks, we have to have the relationship capital to let those sparks fly a little bit. And so some of those things are very important that we are excited and we're seeing growth. We're congratulating them on, I saw that your, uh, this kid in your class did this and this and this. Those little things are not to be discounted as we let iron sharpen iron. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay.